What's going on guys, Bills here from Achievement Land, and I'm here with an Achievement Walkthrough for Warp. This game released onto the Xbox February 15, 2023 for a price of $4.99, and it's a really quick and easy completion. It takes about like 5 to 10 minutes, and I'm going to run you through it and show you how to get all the achievements. This game has 13 achievements. We're going to get most of them in the first level. We have to complete the first level, complete three levels, die by hitting a wall, run out of fuel, die by crashing into an asteroid. That's going to be our last achievement actually on level 11. Die hitting into an enemy, so just run into him and die. Kill an enemy, kill 20 enemies, collect a weapon, collect a fuel tank, and then complete level 10. Pacifist, complete a level without shooting. We're going to do that in the first level. That's very easy. And then die letting the time expire. We're going to do that in the first level as well. So play the game, go to adventure. We're going to go to the first level. There's no enemies on this level, just your ship and the exit. You press R trigger to fly, and we're going to go right into the wall and die, and that's going to give us an achievement. Then there's uh, some other achievements we're going to get. We're going to run out of fuel. Like I said, our trigger goes. Just uh, try not to crash. And we're going to use up all our fuel. In the top left, you can see the fuel meter under the time going down. If you're having trouble doing it on this level, there's an easier level to do it on later on. There's a level you start with low fuel. But it's easy to do it in this level as well. And it's a good way to get used to the controls. So there we go. There's the achievement for using all the gas. Now the next one we're going to do is for running out of time. So this time, just don't use all your fuel. You can just stand around and just wait. And once the time goes down, we'll get the achievement for running out of time. All right, now we can actually finish the level, so just go straight. Just hold our trigger, don't shoot at all. Go right into the green orb, and that's going to finish the level. It's going to give us two achievements, one for uh, finishing the level and one for a pacifist for not shooting. Then we're on level two. You could just finish this level. It's nice and easy. And then level three has some enemies, and we're going to get some more achievements. You get one for dying from the enemies, so just drive right into them, and you should die. I wasn't sure if I hit the wall or them, so I'm going to do it again. The achievements are still catching up anyway, so it doesn't matter. But yeah, just die by them, and then we need to shoot and kill them. We need to kill 20 anyway as well, so just keep killing them as we go through the levels. And I just died after killing them. Oh, great. It's not really that big of a deal because uh, it's going to make progress even when you die. If you kill the enemies, you could just stay on this stage and keep killing the enemies and dying if you want to get all the kills over with. But there's going to be more enemies, so it's a waste of time. So let's finish this level and keep going through. Just go careful, kill the enemy, and finish the level. We got an achievement for finishing the first three levels, and uh, it's pretty easy. There's one level that's a little annoying, but other than that, it's pretty simple to go through this game. So just take your time, make your way through, go to the exit. All we have to do is just finish the 10th level, and then on level 11 is going to be the last level where we need to uh, get our last achievement, and we'll be done. This is the level you start with low fuel. You have to be careful, and we have to pick up fuel, and we'll get an achievement for getting the fuel, which is right here. There we go. And there's the achievement, and now we can make our way to the exit. This next level has some annoying enemies. You can actually just go past them if you want, but you can also kill them. They're not that hard to kill. They just take a couple shots. Just take your time and just move out a little further away so they don't get to you. And then you can just make your way through and kill them. Making some progress towards our uh, kill 20 enemies achievement. All right, now the next level is the annoying level in this game. There's this uh, blue thing that pushes you away that we have to get past. You kind of want to go at it fast to get past it and then just kind of stop yourself to get control and then make your way to the exit and watch out for this guy. I've been killed by him after getting past the blue thing, which is horrible. <laughs> but after we can finish the level in this next level, we get a new weapon, which is going to give us an achievement. And this weapon has uh, some better firepower so we can kill the guys a little easier. And if you haven't popped it already, you should be getting your kill 20 foes achievement around here. And there we go. It just popped from me. And right after I get it, I died, of course. Just be careful of the enemies in this level. They're not too hard. You just have to uh, be cautious. Just take your time, go through, and shoot the enemies slowly, and don't die. And then hopefully we can uh, finish this level and get to the next level. There we go. Cutting it really close here. All right. And this next level is a little annoying too. It's not too bad, but this is level 10, so we're almost done. Just got to make your way through this. You don't even have to kill the enemies. You might want to kill this guy, but you don't have to. And there we go. We finished level 10. That's going to give us an achievement. And now we just have one achievement left. And like I said, the last achievement we're going to get is for dying by an asteroid. So there's asteroids right here in level 11. So just crash into it. And that's going to give us our last achievement. And we'll be done with this game. So that's it, guys. That's the achievement walkthrough for this game, which is out now for $5. I'm also going to be giving away this game, five copies of this game on Twitter. You can follow me on there, which is at Achievement Land. I give away games every week. But other than that, thanks so much for watching. I hope this video helped you. Leave a like if it did. And I'll catch you guys next time here at Achievement Land. <laughs>